Mmm, mmm, mmm. It's good. Mmm, I'm sorry. Mmm, mmm. We really do need acceptance in our society. You gotta be so good that they can't ignore you. Especially the ones that ain't done shit for you. Yeah, you know exactly what I mean. They stab you in the back and then they ask why you're bleeding. I don't trust words. I trust actions. I don't care what you heard. I'm not slacking. My name is Alan Roberts. This is Every Damn Day Fitness. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell right over there. Share my videos where you got to click the join button over there. You'll get exclusive members content for the price of a Dunkin' Donuts cup of coffee. Also, above and below at the end is our link to our Amazon number one best-selling book in health reference, Fuck Being Fat, Solve Your Weight Problems Once and For All with Math and Willpower. It is in paperback and on Kindle, soon to be an Audible. I am actually recording that here within the next week or two. So March 4th was World Obesity Day. Now, this was a day designed to raise awareness of the chronic disease known as obesity and that people should not be shamed for having this disease, those sorts of things. Um, I found it crazy that fat activists took it upon themselves to say all sorts of crazy shit. Like Sophie Hagen said that there's nothing wrong with being fat. There's, it's not unhealthy for you. Like lies, basically lies is what they're putting out to their fucking audiences. Um, I saw one young lady eating makes me happy filming a, basically a mukbang singing some sort of ridiculous song. Eating is normal. Also, when you're fat or thin, eating is something we should all do. Eating is for pleasure. Talking about how there should be more fat people eating for pleasure. Eating is normal. I should make a song about that, you know? Because there's such a stigma on eating. Oh! <laughs> now, the issue with these two instances and uh, so many others like it, like people took the World Obesity Day and were like, fuck you, I'm going to be obese and fuck off. You can't do shit about it. Here's the thing. Whenever you hear a 300, 350, 400 pound person, whenever you hear a person that's 100 pounds overweight, and I know overweight, overweight, weight, over a weight that makes it so you can't bend down and tie your fucking shoes, that weight. Over a weight that when you're at a weight, when you have a hard time getting up a flight of stairs without getting winded, that weight. A weight where you have a hard time getting off the floor, that weight. A weight where you have to clean in between your skin folds, that weight. That's, that's the weight you should not want to be at. Whenever somebody that is of an unhealthy weight says that it's, they're perfectly fine and they're perfectly healthy and there's nothing wrong with them and fuck you for, you know, giving a shit about my health and stop being a health concern troll by, by putting information out. What we need to understand is these people do need acceptance and they need acceptance for their mental illness that is causing them to be obese because anybody anybody that reaches a stage where they are morbidly obese has got serious issues with food in one way or the other. They have a completely disordered eating pattern that is causing them to be ill. Now, I know that many of them say, well, I'm recovering from my uh, eating disorder. I'm intuitively eating and blah, blah, blah. If you are a morbidly obese person and you are intuitively eating to try to recover from your eating disorder and you are still morbidly obese, you are not actively, your body is not adjusting down to a more normalized weight, you know, a weight where you can tie your shoes, a weight where you can walk upstairs, a weight where you can be ambulatory past the age of 50. If you are not actively, if you're a morbidly obese person and your intuitive eating is not bringing your weight down, it is not intuitive eating, it is your disorder eating. It, you, you are, you are letting, letting your eating disorder kill you. You're letting it rob you of life. We need acceptance because we need mental health acceptance on many levels, not just for obesity, but on many levels throughout the world. We need the stigma of mental health uh, problems. We need that to go away. That is the biggest issue here because what happens is people that have problems with food also normally have issues of a psychological nature, or at least they do when they get morbidly obese. They need help with that. They really, really do. We're, I, I am a food addiction coach. I am not a counselor. They need counseling to understand why they have some sort of eating disorder. I can coach them to the habits and lifestyle skills that they need to help them recover, but they first, they, it's a whole other entity where they need mental health care to actually determine what the issues are. That is the problem. We need to stop you know, stigmatizing mental health issues in our country because anybody and any, I mean, anybody that's, that's got themselves to 100 pounds overweight has got some issues that they need worked out. We need that type of acceptance. We really, really do. It is very, very understandable 
that people do not want to be made fun of. It really, really is. It is very understandable that we should not shame people. We should not say derogatory things with the intent to hurt somebody else's feelings when they have some sort of eating disorder because that is just not fucking helpful. And I've said that a thousand fucking times. However, we can also not play into the mental disorder that these people have and pander to them and allow them to think that they are possibly okay, that there is not something very, very wrong. Obesity is an illness. It is a disease. It is bad for your health, period. It is factual. It is bad for your health. If you allow yourself to stay there, you are not thinking about your long-term health. That is a mental disorder all in of itself. And we should stop stigmatizing the need for mental health care in the fucking world because we live in a society that breeds all sorts of mental disorders when it comes to social media, when it comes to the uh, addictive nature of foods, all these things. We ne absolutely need acceptance. We need mental health care acceptance, mental illness acceptance. We truly need this in order to help these people because without the acceptance uh, that they actually have issues from us and from them, from the fat acceptance community, the fat acceptance community needs to understand that if you remain obese, you are letting your mental illness, you are letting your eating disorder kill you. It is just a sign of our times. It is ridiculous that we cannot allow ourselves to open our minds to the fact that yes, these people, they, they want acceptance for being fat. That is the wrong thing. Get acceptance for the problem that got you to be fat. Ask for acceptance for the issues that got you to be fat. You cannot possibly go into a doctor's office and ask them not to weigh you because it hurts your feelings and in any way think that there is not some sort of mental illness there. That I'm sorry, that it's just, if you don't want to know a statistical thing about your own body, there is some counseling needed. Go fucking get it. And everybody else that, that thinks that, they, you know, uh, I think it's ridiculous too. I really, really do. But it must be seen. It absolutely must be seen that eating disorders are truly a problem. Eating disorders are, it, it is addiction. It absolutely is addiction. There is sugar addiction. There is food addiction. It is addiction. These people need help. They need acceptance for their mental health issues. Not acceptance to stay fat. Not acceptance to stay unhealthy. That's unacceptable. It is unacceptable for us as a people to look at somebody else and be like, I know they're unhealthy and not say anything. That is like watching somebody walk in traffic and not telling them that there's a car coming. That's fucking disgusting to me. Of course people should say something. Of course people should be nice about it and be like, hey, I'm concerned about your health because there's a fucking car coming to run you over. In this case, it just happens to be obesity coming to take your feet, coming to take your life, coming to give you cancer. Those are the fucking things we need. We need acceptance. We need mental health acceptance. We do not need fat acceptance. And that's just my two cents of matter. My name is Alan Roberts. You can hit me up on Instagram at Alan Roberts CDF. You can hit me up on Twitter at Everyday Fitness. Also on Facebook at Everyday Day Fitness. I'm on the internet at EverydayDayFitness.net. God damn.